Hello guys, my name is Ivan, I'm the marketing manager of Controlino and you probably already know me from the last two videos. In this video we will finally get into some programming and show you how you can set up the Controlino board in the Arduino IDE and also write a simple Hello World program for it and upload it to the board. So let's dive into it. First of all, we need to download the Arduino IDE. I'll put the link into the description. Just go to the website and choose Windows or your desired operating system. For Windows, please use the first link where it says Installer. So now you'll get asked if you want to contribute to the Arduino software. We will just skip it for now and click on Just Download. If you have a few bucks to spend, please don't hesitate to donate to them as they are really doing an awesome job providing such a great software. After the download is finished, just click on the installer. Now you'll see this little window. Read the terms of service, of course, and click on I agree. Here, leave everything like it is, click on next, and we can start the install. So the installation process will start now, and this can take a few minutes again, so I'll just fast forward the video a little bit. During the installation process, your computer will ask you if you want to install device software. Here you click on install and another prompt will open for the USB driver, where you can again click on install. Now we have finished installation. Let's open up the freshly installed Arduino IDE. It can happen that you get a firewall prompt that is triggered by the Java platform library. Please click on allow access. That's it, here we go. But before we can start developing for Controlino, we just need to do two more things. First, let's go to Tools, Manage Libraries, and in the search field, enter Controlino. Now, install the latest version of the Controlino library by clicking on Install. The second thing we need to do is to go to our website and open up the tutorial section. I will also share the link in the description. Now let's click on the first link on the left where it says set up an installation and just copy paste the white link that you see here under Controlino board's hardware definition. We'll copy paste it just now and move back to Arduino IDE. Now please go to Files, Preferences, and paste the link right here. Afterwards, we can click on OK. So now let's open up the Board Manager again by going to Tools, Boards and Board Manager. And here, let's search for Controlino again. Okay, now download the or install the latest version of the board definition and let's just wait a few seconds more until the installation process is finished. Okay, now you can see the Controlino boards under Tools Boards, if you have followed every step correctly. Nice, so let's finally move on to some programming. Before I go on here, I just want to let you know that at this point you will need to have at least some skills in programming with Arduino. This is not a tutorial where we will explain programming for Arduino in general, but rather how to use Arduino IDE and the programming language to program Controlino specific applications. If you want to learn more about how to program Arduinos in general, please visit the official Arduino website where you can find great beginner tutorials. Good, so let's move on. The first thing we'll do is include the Controlino library directly in our first row. Under the setup function, we can now define the pin modes for our Controlino IOs. We'll configure D0, D1 and D2 as output pins. Under the loop function, we will now activate the IOs one by one for 100 milliseconds. So I'll just 
write a digital write function, set it to high, delay it by 100 milliseconds, and then set it again to low. We can repeat this for the D1 and D2 pins. Okay, that's it. Now let's plug in our Controlino into our computer and choose the right board on the tools. So I'll choose the Maxi Automation right now, as I have one over here. And also don't forget to choose the right port where your Controlino is connected to. Here you will see Arduino Mega, so this is the right port. Now let's click the Upload button. The code compiles, uploads, and voila! If you see the control lights on your Controlino blinking, everything was successful. So that's it for today, guys. Um, I hope you've learned something new again. If you need any further assistance or any help, as always, just write us in the comment section below or write us an email at info at controlino.biz. Also, what I really want to recommend uh, is to join our community forum at forum.controlino.biz. I've put the link in to the description too. So you can quickly get answers by the community and also find cool projects, help and more. So see you in the next video.